Well, guys, that thing is running awesome. That is a 60C, Easton made 60C. That thing moves fast. Is this going to be as fast as an inline processor? No, it's going to be close. You're going to be spreading hairs on them, whether you go inline or with an offset design like this. The advantage of having the offset design is being able to do things like this, like eject those pieces that you don't want to cut or that you don't want to have up in your wood pile. And that's very important because one, something that's twisted and, and gnarly like that is going to uh, be hard on the machine for one. You're just as well to uh, sand it off the side of it and uh, not worry about it. And then two, you're not going to have a bunch of junk up in your wood pile, which is important for you because you're not going to be uh, delivering that stuff to your customers then. You're going to be delivering a good premium firewood product. One thing I want to point out on this machine is the size of the cylinder though. This Splitter cylinder on this is a 40 ton splitter cylinder. And uh, you can see that it's not, well, it's not terribly big really. It's, it's a four and a half inch cylinder. So what that equates to is a, a sub three second cycle time. This thing cycles like 2.8, 2.9 seconds when, when you uh, time it out. That's fast, that's blistering fast. And um, a lot of guys are probably thinking, well, how are you getting 40 tons out of a four and a half inch cylinder? We're running 5,000 PSI into that cylinder. That's a lot of pressure. And the advantage of doing this, when, when you do that, um, you're not moving as much oil. This is the name of the game here, guys. You don't want to be moving a whole lot of oil. That's why we've gotten away from running these uh, big six, seven inch cylinders. You can't physically move the oil that fast. And when you do, it creates an awful lot of heat. The next part of this is how are we actually getting that pressure out of it? Well, what we're doing is on these new machines, on these Eastamade 60Cs, they're running a piston pump on them. They're rated for 5,500 PSI. So there's a lot of extra there still. There's still another 500 PSI there, if you so choose. Um, I don't think you need it. Um, 40 tons is lots. You're gonna have no problem pushing most anything that you're gonna put on a fire processor through this thing. Um, if, if it doesn't go through, it probably doesn't belong on a firewood processor, in my opinion. Um, and on that note too, guys, if uh, if you do have something really gnarly like that, you're not going to bust anything. Nothing's going to break on you. It's going to stop, which is very, very important. If you've ever run one of these processors with a big cylinder on, there, there's no forgiveness there. It just keeps shoving until something busts. So that's why we're doing it that way. And I'll show you. I'll show you what the difference is here. I think... Uh, I gotta have a fourth. I think I still have a couple of valves machines here. I'll show you what the difference is because a lot of there's a couple of manufacturers that are running piston pumps. I know of one other one that is right now, um, and then most of the other ones are still running old gear pumps. This is what a piston pump looks like. So there's two pumps there instead of having typically what what the old processors would have would have like four or five stacked pumps, and you're always pumping oil, you're always moving oil around. So again, you're creating an awful lot of heat. I'll uh, maybe stop this. I'll walk over here and I'll show you what, what the other pumps look like. Well, we made her over here. It was a, a wee bit of a walk, but we made it. Not very far. It's only about 100 feet. Um, but anyways, this is a 4000 series. This is a fairly new machine. And as you can see, there's actually one, two, three, four, five separate pumps on this machine. And, and this system works really well. Like it does... Dish, been looking at processors that's this this thing is a cat's pajamas until that thing came out anyways um but what you have here is you always always have oil moving and you're trying to move so much of it in order to get a bigger cylinder to cycle fast enough because gear pumps like this a uh, pump set up like this normally they're only rated for around at 2800 to 3000 psi that's kind of their their maximum point and it's just because of the design of it um that that would be the case and like i said most processors you're going to find in the market are like that i know of one other company right now that's running piston pumps and uh it's the way to do it guys it's it's if you look at any of your equipment any your excavator your skid steers any uh any properly engineered designed equipment right now is running that it's running piston pumps on variable displacement load sense um it's just the way of the future guys it's so much easier lasts a whole lot longer Bring it back over here. So you're probably wondering, well, if they're so great and they're so fantastic, why aren't, why isn't every other firewood processor manufacturer 
using them. Well, that's a cost thing, guys. It's cheaper to run a gear pump. They're more readily available. If you, uh, um, in terms of a supply, and in terms of a manufacturer, like we've had to place orders for these piston pumps uh, months ago. We would place them in February. Um, and they're just starting to trickle in now as we're ramping up production here. So that's why, and like I said, they're, they're more expensive. They're uh, quite a bit more money, but what do you gain from it is uh, having a lot better product. And that's, that's what we're trying to do here, guys. We're trying to deliver you the very best firewood equipment available. That's that's my goal here. I want to make sure if you're buying something from Easton Made, that it is the very best. Um, so the other thing to take note here is uh like i said it's a four and a half inch cylinder 40 tons cycles in under three seconds um there's other processors out there that cycle this fast guys there, there's a handful of them out there what you want to pay attention to here is the tonnage a lot of the times when when a processor manufacturer will have a fast cycle time like that that's three three and a half seconds you're really sacrificing tonnage you're sacrificing a lot of you go from what should be 30 tons to uh normally around that 20 24 ton which is fine but um you're not going to get away with running real hard wood through anything more than, than a six-way wedge but with that like uh if you're into small wood then yeah you, you can probably get away with it but if you're doing any kind of hard wood or you get something with an on it it's going to be obviously a lot more difficult where this is 40 tons it's three seconds 40 tons that's that's the key here anyways guys um if you liked the video, give her a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button below. I'm going to do my best to try and help educate you guys um, on, on these machines, on firewood processors, fire equipment in general. Um, whether you buy one from me or somebody else, I just want to be able to give you guys good information to, to make, a, make a, an informed decision on it rather than just looking at specs and not really knowing the logic or the reason behind it. So that's, uh, that's what I'm trying to do here anyways, guys, is make sure that you guys uh, have all the information you guys need to actually make a good decision in order to make your firewood business grow. Anyways, guys, I really hope to see you on the next one. Uh, take care.